it is just too hot for man or beast outside right now. Like we hit a hundred up here in North Dakota. <laughs> so I thought what a good day to film the Mac eye products collection that I told you guys I was going to film. And then too, um, I guess after this, I think that'll be the end of like my Mac stuff. So if you want to leave suggestions for the next type of makeup collection type video, I was thinking of doing Charlotte Tilbury with full swatches for my next one, but I don't believe I'm going to be able to swatch all this stuff because <laughs> it would be the longest video ever. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get rolling with showing you guys my Mac eye products. So I'll start over here. This is um, a drawer in one of my toolboxes um, where I've got pigments and crushed pigments. This is one of the first MAC products I actually ever purchased. So that is what Mutiny looks like right there. And then I have got Fuchsia. Actually, I think this was the very, very first pigment I ever purchased. And these poor things hardly ever get used. And then this next one is called um, Basic Red, right here. And this is a matte bright red color. Um, this one is Golden Lemon, right there. And then we've got Burnt Burgundy, which is a matte burgundy color. And then this one here is Heritage Rouge right here which is so pretty it is so pretty this one here is called lark about this is kind of a unique shade it's like a gray white bluish type of a slight periwinkle it's a really odd shade it's not like pure white but that's lark about this one here is the pigment in violet right there and then the last in the old type packaging is Quick Frost, which is a white frost. <laughs> I do have these little guys from an old um, holiday collection and my brothers are like, got the combine going out there so and it's so noisy. So that's what that is. Anyway, this is the one in teal. And then this one is, what does it say? Pinked Mauve. And then this one is a glitter, and this one's called Reflex Blackened Red, which is beautiful on. Um, however, these are really messy. And then this one is called um, Frost. And this one is Quietly, which is a pretty purple shade. And these are the ones that I have from um, Old Holiday Collection. Some of the ones that I have in the newer packaging, this is from the MAC Wonder Woman, and this is a glitter, and it's called Reflex Pearl. It's really, really gorgeous, but um, you definitely need a sticky base for this guy. Right there, and then this one here, which was from not too old of a collection, but I really have a thing for it, which you'll see in a minute here, <laughs> chartreuse type colors. This one's called True Chartreuse, <laughs> and this one is a matte. It's a matte um, chartreuse right there. I like to put them on the lid. And then the last two regular pigments, this one is Lily White, which this is beautiful as well. It's like a um, champagne type of a color. And then this last one is also a more on the lime green, but a chartreuse lime green, <laughs> chartreuse bouquet it's called. <laughs> and that one looks like that. And this one has got some sparkle in it. So that's it for the traditional pigments. I do have some crushed pigments. Um, these are from, I got these at a CCO a while ago. They're so, so beautiful on these crushed pigments, but you do have to take precaution because you can get a lot of fallout. So this one over here is roasted chestnut. And then this one here is rose light raindrop. Oh, raindrop and moss garden are these two. And then I got these at a CCO too. This one is Summer Stash, right here. Oh, aren't those beautiful? And then this one is Butterfly Party and Desert Cloud, right there. So those are some more crushed um, pigments. And then one more crushed pigment. This is the, um, oh, also from the Summer Stash ones. It's a crushed metallic pigment. Then getting started over here are my Mineralize eyeshadows. Um, this was one of the first collections from MAC that I bought stuff from. This is a 
trio <laughs> and it's a mineralized eyeshadow it's called threesome and I actually used this uh, a quite a load like you can see how much I used of this guy um, back in the day but that sucker is really pretty and then this one here I can't remember this collection for nothing this is cha 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 yes mineralized eyeshadow that is what that one looks like swatch it try to swatch a couple of them but this is like it's like unique because you can almost see the two colors in there and they don't like mix together but and then we have pink split right here I remember this one here was it needed more I wasn't that impressed with this guy here but it sure is pretty to look at in the pan <laughs> um, and then this was also from the trio type collection this one is called outspoken right here that I use I use quite a bit of that guy too pretty and then this one was from that snow globe collection this one's called fresh ice I'm tempted I was tempted to throw this in the highlighter um, face highlighter drawer but then I thought well it's a little stark it would work but it's a little bit on the icy stark white side it would work though I might try it I might leave this out and try it <laughs> and then another one from that same trio collection this one is called danger zone I used a lot of this too I think <laughs> I really love these back in the day, but um, super pretty trio. Another one that could be used as a highlighter. These three here are Pro Longwear eyeshadows. This one's in Carefree, right there. Which this could be. It's like um, I think it's like a better version of Nars um, Albatross. It's got that yellow tint to it, and then this one here is called Mauveless. Marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> Looks like that. And then this guy here is uninterrupted, which is the ugliest color in the pan, but as everybody says, it's a great one on the eyes. So that one is, uh, what did I say? Uninterrupted. Right there. And then I do have a couple of the pressed pigments. This one right here is called Flicker. This one's pretty. These are kind of messy, but they're pretty on right there. And then the other one that I have is Deeply Dashing. This is beautiful. Right there. Isn't that pretty? These next ones are when MAC did the In Extra Dimension eyeshadows in the large pots, and then they decided to start making them in the little pots. <laughs> Um, I guess I preferred the big pots. Um, this one here is called Smoky Mauve, and I love these. I love the Gelé formula of almost all the brands' eyeshadows. I think they're stunning right there. So that one is Smoky Mauve. Is that what I said? Yeah, Smoky Mauve. And then this one here is called Zestful, and this is beautiful. It's got a green uh, shift to it. It's really pretty. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then this one here is called Modern Pewter. And I thought this was quite um, kind of a unique shade. It's got, it's got a pewter tint to it. Right there. So that one's Modern Pewter. These are the beautiful Marilyn shadows, which the packaging, one of my favorite all-time collections from MAC. This one's How to Marry, Velux Pearl shadow. I better not start swatching all of them, otherwise this is going to be the longest video ever. <laughs> um, this one's called Showgirl. Right there. I wore these all together one day and I thought it was really pretty. I did like that real um, kind of um, defined cut crease. It was pretty in, in any event. Um, this one's Preferred Blonde. Right here. And then this last one is called Silver Screen. And it looks like that. And then some regular single shadows that I have. This one is called Gorgeous Gold. I really should depot these regular ones into like a palette or something. Um, but that one's got a, a tint of green to it. And then this guy here, which is one of the first MAC shadows I bought, um, is called Sushi Flower. Right there. And then this guy here is called Sunny Spot. I think I got this one at a CCO. But I like the bright chartreuse green colors. Um, and then here we have got off the page. Right there. 
And this one here is also one of the first MAC shadows. This was a pro color, I believe. And I got it at the um, the MAC Pro Store in Vegas at Caesars Palace. I totally remember this day. <laughs> um, this one's called Bio Green, and I used a ton of this. I love green eyeshadow. And then we have got Vanilla right there. And another green one. This one's called Bitter. <laughs> And then this one here, I got out of CCO again. This one's Fresh Daisy. Right there. Then some that were in special packaging. This was uh, the Surf Baby Collection, I believe. And this one's called Surf USA. And then this guy here is Max Sweet Joy, which from the Venomous Villains, I believe, right? Corella Deville on there. These next four are from the Hey Sailor Summer Collection, uh, maybe 2012. <laughs> uh, this is called uh, Feeling Fresh. It's a frost. Another green shade. It kind of looks like bio green, to be honest. And then this one is Barefoot. Right there. And then this guy is Jaunty, which is a frost. I'm hoping these pick up. I've, I've, this is the first time I'm trying to film one of these on this camera. And it, it, they're looking great in the viewfinder, better than my big DSLR, so hopefully this is all good. And this one's Nautical Navy. I love, I love MAC Summer Collections. Here's another one from the Surf Baby Collection. This one's called Short Shorts. I believe I got this also at Caesars in Vegas. Right there. And then, oh, another one of my top three, four MAC collections of all time. The MAC to the Beach collection. I love these eyeshadows. This one's Firecracker. I love. And then this next guy is Sweet and Punchy. I love this guy too. Love, love. And then this last one is called Shimmer Moss, which I believe they came out with this in a couple other collections as well. I love, I love this collection so much. This shadow is from the Liberty of London collection, which I love that collection as well. This one's Beau Gray. And it looks like that. Should I swatch it? It's kind of an interesting type of a color. Could I got sparkles all over my hand from those pigments. That doesn't swatch with a darn. Now into some more of those in extra dimension shadows. This guy here is a beautiful, beautiful face highlighter. This is um, a natural flirt. I wish so bad that this will, I had this in um, either like a mineralized skin finish size or also or a bigger in extra dimension size. But this is this is a beautiful face highlighter. And then this next one is called Silver Dawn. Right there. These in extra dimension shadows are from the Alluring Aquatics collection. This one is called Soul Serenade, right? Did I say that? Yeah, Soul Serenade. Oh, these are so pretty. So, so pretty. And then this one here is called Legendary Lure. This guy is called Silver Sun. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love these eyeshadows. <laughs> also from the Alluring Aquatics, there is Sea Warship. Oh, so beautiful. They're so beautiful. I need to bust them out. They're reminding me right now of the new Estee Lauder um, shadows that I, I just hauled in my last video. They're that same type of jelly formula, but they're so... They're reminding me of those. So, anyway. Uh, sea Warship. This one is called Lorelei. And then this next one is called Fathoms Deep. Right there. Oh, that's stunning. It's stunning. <laughs> so beautiful. Moving over into the more palette type half. This came in a, a kit for the holidays last year. And this is the duo in Just Gleaming and Stolen Moment. This color here. Um, also is a beautiful face highlighter. But those are so pretty. So pretty. So that is that duo there. And then I picked up this particular piece because I thought the packaging was so pretty. And this is like so weighted. It's like 
heavy, <laughs> really substantial packaging, and the price was more substantial as well for this collection. Um, but this is the Probel Gurung, probably butchering that. Um, there's Satin Ochre Duo eyeshadow duo. So that is what that looks like right there. These two palettes are from the MAC and Isabel Toledo, Isabel and Ruben Toledo collection, which I liked these. Um, the looks I did with them, I did have to, you know, work with the shadows a little bit, but the looks that came out of them were really pretty. So this one is called Violet Wink. And this other one is called, oh, the greens, the chartreuses. <laughs> Um, this one is called Bell Greens, and I love this one. I love, I love purples and greens. Well, actually, not even gonna lie, I kind of love all bright colors. I love all colors. Let's just throw it out there. <laughs> um, this, these two are from the Simpsons collection. Oh, I still got the plastic in that guy. Which I did do a look with these, um, two palettes, and I loved it. I really loved it. I thought I was gonna have to use a white base with this guy, and it was really vibrant. So this one is called... That trillion dollar look quad, and then the other one right here is called uh, Marge's Extra Ingredients Quad. Just cute. <laughs> and then I've got the two quads from the Archie's Girl collection. So this one is another purple one. I remember I really had to stuff my brush into some of these, these were kind of stiff. But the looks came out, so um, this one's called Spoiled Rich, and then the other one is oh those are really pretty um this one is called caramel sunday packaging is so cute then i have one quad from the hello kitty collection and this one this i remember mac actually had a sale like a 25 or 20 percent off sale which they rarely do this was way back when and i got this on sale on the website so this one is called um, here's the Lonely Only Trio I got from this, uh, year's summer collection. And I really, the colors are really pretty. You guys are seeing a total ton of chartreuse, aren't you? <laughs> um, this one is called Green Clean. Super pretty. These shades here were something to work with. And the strips are just so thin for brushes as well. But, um, needless to say, the colors are pretty. The packaging is pretty, but it would have been nice if they did some extra dimension stuff during this summer collection. Then I have one of the new not nine times, what are they called? Um, Burgundy Times Nine, one of the Times Nine palettes from MAC. And it looks like that right there. Give you guys a shot if you want to read the colors in there. I've got two of the mineralized quads, which I like these. I think they're really pretty on. There's a lot of sparkles in there, so if you're big on mattes, you know, you probably won't like them, but I liked them on. I've got a harvest, a harvest of greens which looks like that. And I think these are really pretty. And then the other one that I have is called a medley of mobs, green and purple. <laughs> I have the two that I have. Oh, this color is so pretty. Oh, so, so pretty. Oh, I swatched those like totally on top of each other. But anyway, that one's um, a medley of mobs. This here I purchased at a CCO again. This one is called Pink Lux. If, a couple people have said, what's a CCO? It's a cosmetics company outlet in the, um, that they have them sporadically in different like outlet malls around the, um, in the States. And they sell Estee Lauder products at a discounted price. So that's what that is. But the, this is a really pretty little uh quad here it's called pink luxia yeah. this next guy is old school and i used this baby so much this is one of the i i bought two made two quads when i first bought some mac stuff in store i want to say i was down in vegas when i did it too um and this is one of the first ones so did i tell you guys what i got i believe this is nylon yeah nylon um whoop this one's juxt Right there, so pretty. This this color is so beautiful. And then I think this is green smoke, or the other one. Yep. Yeah, wait. Oop. Yeah. Green smoke. And then this guy right here is called um, uh, humid. Another one that I built way back when. Um, 
this one is the famous one. Everybody's got this color. Everybody loves this color. It's called Satin Taupe. Um, and then this one is called, which is a matte. This one's called uh, Shadowy Lady. And then uh, Tracks. And what is this one? I can't even remember. This one is called Shroom. Here's another pre-made one that I bought at a CCO a while ago. These shadows actually don't like come out of here, so I'll just show you what. I don't know, it came out in a collection. Photorealism is what it's called. So those are the shades in there, right here. I haven't really used this one a ton, but the colors are really pretty. And this last one's a random one that I made way back when again. Um, I wanna say this is when I didn't really know anything about Mac and I remember everybody talking about Mac Carbon being you know and in videos and stuff they always used Mac Carbon so I got Mac Carbon and then this one right here is called Crystal Avalanche which is a really sparkly white color and this purple guy is called Idle Eyes right there and then I think this one's just called Orange I really do yeah it's just called Orange <laughs> and it's a matte orange color totally random quad this little palette is from the MAC and Cinderella collection. I found a few of these shades to be quite stiff. You can almost see the hard pan that was kind of forming on this color right here, but um, the look that came out of it was pretty. I just had to work with it a bit. So that is um, that guy right there, Stroke of Midnight. I love these next two quads. They're from the Temperature Rising collection. Um, there really isn't a super bright highlight shade in there, so it was kind of a, a, a muted look all the way up to the brow when I used them, and I just love, there's something about that look I just love. And these colors in here are so, so pretty. They're like, they remind me of what, I'm, I'm like, like humidity or something, and I'm like sweating like crazy right now with these lights, and it's literally 100 degrees out. <laughs> anyway, this one's called Bear My Soul, right there. And this next one is like the purpley version. And this one is called Temperature Rising. Oh my gosh, I literally have sweat rolling down my back. TMI. <laughs> this is um, the Disney Maleficent palette, which these colors are, are pretty boring to be honest. But the packaging is super cute. I love the show, so or the, the movie. And I love Angelina Jolie, so anyway, that's uh, Maleficent. These two are from the Kelly and Sharon Osborne collection. This first one is the Kelly Osborne quad. And I like both of these. I thought the looks came out really pretty. This one's the Bloody, Bloody Brilliant quad. And then here's um, Sharon's right there. And hers is called the Duchess quad. These next two, the packaging is just stunning. And I actually love these. I love sparkle. So that's probably why I like these shadows in the first place. Because I love some sparkle. Because I know a lot of people don't care for these quite as much. But um, these are really pretty. This is from the Riri Hearts Matte Collection. Oh, the shimmer and the shine just gets me, man. <laughs> this one's called Fresh Out. And then the other one. So, so beautiful. The other one is called two times dare and these are so beautiful the packaging on this collection was just stellar the packaging was stellar also on the other riri hearts matte collection um so beautiful so so beautiful this one's called her coco right there oh my gosh you know what i haven't even used this i'm setting this out wow wow tar wow um get it together <laughs> Uh, this one here is called Smoke Coco. This last uh, quad I have is a pre-made um, one that I got at CCO again. This is the Color Added, it's called. Right there, just a random. I like the random colors. And then, hey, chartreuse. <laughs> so that's that one. Then I pulled my paint pots, my larger palettes, and my gel liners from um, where they were housed at the moment. Um, I'll just show you guys what I have for paint pots. I've got Painterly and Soft Ochre, and I'm actually going to pull these out of the drawer and put them in my Back to Mac, because these are quite old, and they're they're too drying. These particular ones I know are quite dry. Um, not only dried out in the pot a bit, but they're drying on my lids. And then these ones here I'll hang on to, because, well, they're really pretty, but they also last if I ever decide to go swimming with makeup on. <laughs> but these are from the Snow Globe collection, and these are just, like, they're, like, brand new. Um... I mean, they still are super creamy and everything. This one's Morning Frost. This is beautiful right here. I find that the shimmery ones aren't quite as drying on me as the matte MAC paint pots. So 
Isn't that pretty? Let's watch it. That's so pretty. So that one is Morning Frost, and then this one here is Let's Skate. I remember being, it looks really pretty in the pot, but I remember being less than impressive on the lids. Like it wasn't opaque or something. But that's Let's Skate. And then the other two that I have are Rubenesque right here, which this is, um, this is an older one, but it's really, really, really creamy still. And it doesn't smell or anything like that either, which is something I really gauge by. And it looks just, it's the same color as when I got it. So this one here is Bear Study. This one's also really quite creamy yet. But I don't, I don't use these quite as much, but I do have them on hand. I do like to have like a long wearing cream shadow on hand in case by any chance I want something to really last. Because <laughs> those, those last pretty well for me and my dry lids. And then on to fluid lines, which I have a lot of. This one here is low lights. I just got this one fairly recently and have been using it a ton with uh, Inglot Duraline for winged liner on the top lash line. And then this one here, also a great one, which I've been loving on the waterline. This is Royal Wink. I do not put the Duraline in here for the waterline, but isn't that pretty? It's like a matte in your face royal blue color. And this one is Dip Down, another one I use quite a bit with um, Duraline. And then this guy here is called Gen Gentrified. And this one I wasn't, this came out with the holiday collection and I wasn't that impressed with this one. It was like kind of drier. Um, and it's a little bit on the light side for a, a winged liner for me. Um, I was in t intention to have it on the waterline, but it's got some micro glitters in it. So not so sure about this guy. Then this one here is Siahi. This is a beautiful color. This one here I got not too long ago. Um, mixed it with the Inglot. It's so pretty. And then this one is Midnight Snack, which is a gray. And then there is Blue Peep. This is a beautiful color as well. This is so, so pretty on the waterline. It's really, really gorgeous. And then this one is called Shade. Right there. This, I already put some Duraline in for the top lash line. It's like a forest green type of shade. And then I have got Rich Ground, which is like a bronze color. Oops. And then there is Waveline. I used to use this a load on my actual waterline, and then um, I started using it on the top with the Inglot Duraline, which um, these are my favorite to mix with. Duraline. This one's a little black bow. Um, this is another one that it's got the micro glitters in there, so I don't want to put it on my waterline, but it's a little on the light side for a winged liner, although it would be pretty. So um, I still need to figure out. It'd be a good base too, but I can imagine this really drying my lid. And then this one is called Stairs and Speculation. Oh, sorry my hand is so beat up. It's like so beat up. I was trimming horse feet um, last night. <laughs> this one's called Stairs and Speculation. I think this was from a holiday collection. Here's another one that I'm a little iffy about on the color. but And then the last four fluid lines, I have Blitz and Glitz, which I use this a lot. I really use this a ton, this one. And then this guy here, which is called Ivy. This is one of the newer ones for me. I don't think I've used this one um, very much yet, but let's see here. Yeah, no micro glitters in here, so this would be a really pretty one on the waterline. And then this guy here, Black Track, good old Black Track, right there. And then the last one is called Sassy Moss, and this is really pretty on the waterline as well. Um, I have to build it up, however. It's got shimmers in there, but no micro glitters, but it's really pretty. And then lastly, I have got four of the big pre-made MAC um, eyeshadow palettes. So I'll let you guys see the label so you can see what um, eyeshadows in, are inside of these right here because that is what those look like and this palette is called the eyeshadow times 15 it doesn't say specifically I want to say that this one is the Nordstrom neutrals palette right here I'm pretty sure that's what that this one is because um, it doesn't oops it doesn't say on the back and then this guy right here is the cool neutral um, times 15 the dogs are barking outside that is the cool palette right there and then here's the Mac times 15 warm palette or warm neutrals what this one is called right here the warm neutral palette 
I did a video on the warm neutral and the cool neutral palettes when they first came out, which was a while ago, but. And then the last one, which I was so lucky to be able to snag this guy when this collection came online. I really, really wanted this palette. It's the um, Mac and Brooke Shields times 15 palette. And I have it. I usually don't keep things in the box, but recently, I don't know why, I've been keeping things in boxes. <laughs> so that is what this looks like. I think the packaging is super cute. It's a nice little refresher from the black packaging anyway. And the colors in here are really pretty. So that is what that guy looks like right there. And these are the shades that are inside of there. So that's pretty much all of my MAC color eye collection. Uh, feel free to leave me suggestions down below for what kind of makeup collection type stuff you guys want to see next. I was thinking of doing, um, since like the Charlotte Tilbury, my Charlotte Tilbury collection isn't as big as like this, um, I was thinking of doing that collection next and then swatching everything as well from my the stuff that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful. If not, at least entertaining. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear a sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.